Hey everybody, Justin here for a more unique Arkham Horror the Card Game video. Uh, this one is not really about any gameplay strategy or anything like that, but this is about great music for you to listen to while playing Arkham Horror the Card Game. This is a, a question that I often see asked on Reddit, on our Discord channel, etc, etc, sometimes in YouTube comments of people being like, what do you listen to when you're playing Arkham Horror the Card Game? Unfortunately, because we record, we can't really listen to music when we play, but I still have a lot of suggestions for you guys, and realistically, this is part one of a video series that I'm probably going to add on more in the future, because I listen to dark ambient horror music casually. When I'm like, you know, feet up on the couch and I want to listen to some music, I think, you know what I want to listen to? Endless dark droning. That sounds like a treat. So these are a few suggestions from my own personal playlist and what I've listened to when I've been relaxing, um, dreaming about the future, writing, creating, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's a link down into my playlist down in the video description. Um, and then there is also, uh, I'm going to have the list, the names of all of the artists that I'm going to be putting in this video. One thing as well, I, I would be remiss to not say this at the start of this, is that on Spotify, there are also um, playlists made for each campaign. I personally don't listen to them. I like to curate my own playlist for this kind of stuff. However, uh, if you wanted to search on Spotify, there's I know there's some bunch of stuff that is like perfect there, ready-made for you. And you can turn off this video right now, like it before you go. Uh, and then you can start listening there. However, I still have a bunch of recommendations for you for uh, various different styles and genres that may find great for you for uh, Arkham Horror, the card game. So I'm just going to get a pen out because I realized I should probably get some time codes and let's dive in. So my first recommendation is Bolren and their Club of Gore. So this is a pretty... Uh, this was my first... This was like, what I want to call this like baby's first dark jazz for me. This is the one I found when I was like starting to build my playlist. And this was the first band I found. And then it's kind of just grown from this. So Boren is dark jazz, dark ambulance, ambient. So I have here in the description, it's music that will make you feel as though you're wandering down an alleyway in the rain. So there is some sort of, I think it's a saxophone. Uh, it, naming an instrument that's not a drum is going to be the death of me. But it is beautiful music. It's very dark. There's some piano. It's just like, it's like slow. It's plodding. And it just paints a very good future. Sorry, a very good uh, image in the head for when you're playing the game. Just having it on in the background. So when I, when I look at music like this, I kind of have it in like levels personally. This one's a bit more active listening. It's not just ambience like it's classified as dark ambient in like the genres that you'll find online but this really is more dark jazz it's beautiful stuff though and it's really good and really creepy and it'll work really well in like a campaign like the circle undone or dunnage legacy before you leave arkham like if you're in an arkham scenario oh man you, you play the house always wins and this is on in the background Oh my god, it's going to paint like just such a good mood for you. Of course, these songs also can work outside of Arkham Horror the card game. If you're playing like Eldritch Horror or Arkham Horror 2nd or 3rd Edition, even Elder Sign. Like these are just great songs, great tracks for the background. I have three, I have four songs listed here. Uh, I've liked most of what I've heard from this band for uh, my dark ambient playlist. But these are like three, these are four songs that I, I'm, I'm really big fans of and... Uh, Ones that I recommend you kind of start with uh, as uh, you search more into Boren. Uh, as I said, though, you can find all of these in the description for my playlist on Spotify, uh, which you can then, like, if you have Spotify, you can go off of that. If not, I imagine most of these exist on all streaming services. Uh, apart from, oh, there's a few that we're going to get to that exist uh, elsewhere as well. So, next one here. We got, which is probably, I'm going to say this for a lot of these bands, but the Kilimanjaro Dark Jazz Ensemble is probably my favorite on this list. So these are, it's even less ambient and more active than what Boren was. So this is more theatrical, but it's beautiful. So this band 
it started like initially from what I was reading about online while I was doing research. They started as a band that scored uh, old silent films. So it feels very theatrical when you're listening to it. It has the benefit of painting better images in my mind. So the positive for this song is that it does really good at immersing you, but it's very active listening for background music. Um, the song Serpent, under my favorite songs, is probably one of my favorite dark ambient, dark jazz songs out there. I like... I love it. And also, like, Lobby is another song. It's very active. So once again, like, this, these first two recommendations are a lot less just, like, pure ambience. These are soundscapes. They're theatrical as we get through them. These are beautiful songs, though. Like, absolutely gorgeous. And if you're looking for this kind of vibe, they're great to have on in the background for when you're playing the game. So as I said, these are... Uh, the Kilimanjaro Dark Jazz Ensemble is less less droney and it's more theatrical so you're going to be looking at songs that enhance the mood rather than just like go underneath the mood and like that doesn't really sound like a difference but trust me when you listen to these mu this music all the time you feel that right like a drone it like it's the undercurrent and the theatrics are the waves right so like you can see you can see the the theatrics and like the 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 big flourishes in these songs but the drones are just going to drag you under and like push the feeling across and so it's it, it makes sense just trust me just trust me all right so we're going even deeper off of the uh pure dark ambience we're going even more theatrical here for these next this next recommendation so this is krang it's a band there's an uh a album which was my first ever album when it came to this dark ambient style. Uh, and that is, I'm going to absolutely botch this. La Autopsie Phenomenale de Deux. This is, uh, it's, it's like, it's a sampling project, right? So it's like, it's really good sampling of a bunch of songs together. Uh, and like, it builds this amazing atmosphere. It's very active. Once again, these are the waves, not the undertow, right? Like, this is the stuff that's going to paint the picture as opposed to letting the game paint the picture, if that... It makes sense to me, and I hope what I'm saying makes sense to you. But with this stuff is there's a lot of um, theatrical flourishes. There are samples from old films that exist in here, but it works really well in providing this horrifying unsettling mood beneath it so even if this isn't like your cup of tea for what you want for your arkham session there is some stuff specifically the three songs i have here these are these are some of the more they work better than some of the other songs that are on the album for this kind of uh for listening to arkham and i mean like i have played arkham to these songs so that's why i recommend it but these are also just songs i just listen to but they're beautiful they're haunting, and I think if you kind of like this kind of vibe, like, if you like Bowren, you might like Kilimanjaro. If you like Kilimanjaro, you might like to step up to Krang as we kind of go through it piece by piece. Let's go on to the next one here, which is going to be Music Cthuliana. Cthuliana, I think that's how you pronounce this, but this... This is where we're starting to get a little bit less active. It still has some theatrical flourishes, but this is a band that, from their website, aims to capture the essence of H.P. Lovecraft's novels musically. So ambient and immersive, these, uh, these provide... Uh, don't ignore my spelling error there, but these will provide a great background sound to your game sessions. Uh, there's a song called The Unnameable, so you probably could hit it out of the park, uh, on a thousand shapes of horror listening to that song but they have a few albums in their collection and they're all kind of dark ambient and they work really well because like it's from the same it's inspired from the same novels and mythos and writings that the game itself is inspired by uh these ones aren't like some of my favorite stuff but it felt like a great recommendation i've have have some of the songs specifically the nameable and dr gorgo on my playlist over here so it's, I think it's worth checking out. And if you like less active ambience in the background, 
this is really good for that kind of step. So check it out, consider it, maybe you will dig it. Next up, these next two, these ones you've probably seen recommended if you searched online before. These are two, uh, so first one we have Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. This is a great YouTube channel and also uh, a Bandcamp. So hours and hours of dark ambient drones can be found on YouTube and Bandcamp by Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. And like when I mean hours and hours and hours, I mean hours and hours and hours. And it's all really nice stuff. It's very quiet. It's very droney. It's very ambient. So as the same with the last ones, um, especially the first, like the first three, how they were very active. This is much more quiet drone that's going to underscore your evening, right? This isn't a score. This is the underscore. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that if you just want to not think about the music that's playing, but just live in it, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse is a great place to start. Uh, if you Google, if you YouTube it, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse, it's going to pop up and there's going to be a ton of stuff there. The, the, the artist behind this project makes great stuff and I highly recommend you check it out. It's really good and you can buy, I think, like if you want to support them, I think I bought like their entire discography on Bandcamp for like 15 to 30 bucks American. And like, this is stuff that if you are interested in supporting, great way to support it so they can continue to create it and make more awesome droney content. So I highly recommend you check it out. Next one here, kind of similar to the same boat, we got Cryo Chamber. So this is another one that you guys have probably heard of. Cryo Chamber is not a band, but rather they are a dark ambient record label with a cinematic focus. This is once again from their, their own press stuff. Uh, they have a large variety of content available on their Bandcamp and their YouTube, and they even have 24/7 streams uh, channels up on YouTube. There's one that's like doing your home, uh, doing your homework in a Lovecraftian uh, apocalypse, and it's just like it's just like on in the background, and there's like a train moving, and there's just like spooky music that plays 24/7. It's perfect to put on in the background because it already then is like curated for you. You don't even need to touch it. But you also can go and explore their collection to find the stuff that you like. Because this one is a record label as opposed to just one band, there are different kind of styles that you can find as you explore through this. Um, they do kind of have a cinematic focus as they say in their thing. I will admit though, most of my Crowd Chamber stuff that I've listened to is kind of like halfway between pure drone and, uh, and, and then like the dark jazz kind of stuff, like the sampling stuff that we talked about earlier. Uh, not that Bolrin and Kilimanjaro sampled as much as like Krang was a sampling project, but I'm just I'm just nitpicking myself before someone else may nitpick me. Uh, I've, I've I've listened to a lot of Crowd Chamber. I've used their 24/7 streams just when I've been doing my homework in an, uh, uh, Lovecraftian apocalypse. So like I can stand by this one. Crowd Chamber is really nice. Uh, and it's probably, I would wager, one of the more well-known ones here on this list, considering like a friend of mine came up and was like, have you heard of Cryo Chamber? I listen to them all the time when I'm like doing my homework. And I'm like, you're also in a Lovecraftian apocalypse? That sounds freaking great. We should go get some, uh, some squid down in Innsmouth sometime. But yeah, Cryo Chamber, you'll definitely find something there that would do really well for you. Second last one on the list here is, I'm going to say this wrong. Desideri Marginis, Ooh, who knows? But this is dark ambient music that builds slowly in the background. Certain, certain touches may not make it the best for every Arkham campaign, but if you're looking for a great soundscape for your game nights, I consider checking, consider checking this band out. Um, this stuff is some of my top stuff. Like there's a lot of times where I just have my playlist going in the background and I'm like, oh, what the frick is this? This is really nice. And most of the time, if it's not Kilimanjaro, it's uh, this band, Desideri Marginis, or however you pronounce it. There is a lot of like flute wind instruments that kind of go beneath the howling winds of drones that exist like above everything. Um, but it's very beautiful stuff. It's very dark, it's very ambient. Like I said, it might not work for everyone for every campaign. However, I don't really subscribe personally to that idea. Because if it's dark and it's ambient, it's doing the job for me personally. So I kind of just look at it like that. Like, am I enjoying the ambience? Yes. And I think that this band does really good at enjoying, like, and like doing an excellent job of painting a soundscape for you. 
If you want to know, Procession is probably my favorite of theirs, but like all of these songs I've really enjoyed listening to. Uh, so maybe check them out and you might enjoy them as well. Last one here. This one's a bit of a... Oh, no, no, sorry, but this is not the last one. We have one more after this. Oh, my goodness. So, Talvi Horos, uh, also Ben Chatwin. Uh, I believe the the musician is no longer making music under Talvi Horos, but this is less... This is the least atmospheric, soundscape one that we've had so far. It's not... Like, it has the same kind of dark, spooky, scary vibe to it. All the stuff on this uh, recommendation does. But this one's more structured. These kind of like, some of these feel more like actual songs compared to some of the others. And I don't mean that as like an insult or even, because they're all songs. It's all music, right? But you go to Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse and you listen to a one hour long drone versus you go to something that's like, something that's like, like Born in, the, in Their Club of Gore, right? Like that feels like a song as well. But this one even feels like even more structured in a way, if that makes sense um there this one's really good it's really dark it's very like grungy electronic ambience it feels dirty it feels gross it feels like you're crawling through like filth and all that while you're listening to it and it's another one that i really enjoy uh every time that they come on i'm just like all right let's go and i actually recently just added a new one that i wish i put on the list for this one but it's today i am reborn another great song by this great band I love listening to it, and I think it could be really good at painting uh, a background sound for your game nights when you're playing Arkham, if you like a more active electronic sound to it. And when I like say electronic, I mean, this isn't like techno, but you can just feel that this one's a bit more like, you can feel the drone, as opposed to the drone just like existing in the background. It goes like, and then you like piano, do, 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 like something, like not like that, because I'm not a musician. I'm the guy who makes YouTube videos, what do I know? It's good stuff though, check out Talby Horus. Here is our last one. So, this one is, uh, this one, this one's weird, all right? So, this one is coming with a recommendation that you might not even like this one for your playlist. However, Richard Skelton's, specifically some of the songs off The Complete Marking of Time, and you can explore this uh, album more because it is still ambient. It's just very different than everything else I've talked about in the video so far. This is hard pressed to, to categorize this as dark ambient music. This is just like it's string instruments that are just like, it's hard to describe, but I personally find this music to be equal parts beautiful and just absolutely rich with dread. There are songs, Shore in specific, is one of just like the songs that sticks with me. And whenever I it comes on, my mind instantly goes to thousands of fingers trying to crawl, like pull their way across my wall as it's on in the background. So like if you have a much more impression, impressionable, impressionable mind like mine, where like music is really good at painting pictures in your head, and getting you in the mood, I would highly recommend Richard Skelton. If you are looking more for an, uh, an underscore of your evening where you just want sound that makes the room feel less empty and a little bit more scary, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse and Cryo Chamber is going to be much more of a success for you over Richard Skelton. I personally love it though, and I recommend checking it out. So, that is this video. It's kind of hard for me to talk about, uh, like, music uh, and stuff like this, but I hope that, like, me sharing today some of my personal favorites uh, of these of this dark ambient genre with you uh, has worked well, and hopefully you find something that maybe, hey, you just think, oh man, Justin's right, Kilimanjaro Dark Jazz is actually kind of sick. Uh, that would make me happy. If you play, listen to any of this also, if you find something that you want to play in the background of your game night, that would also make me happy as well. Of course, there are tons of other bands. Like, my playlist has so many others. I just had to go and choose a few that I knew I really loved and I could really stand behind a recommendation of for this first video. So, if you want to see more suggestions for 
music to listen to Arkham Horror, let me know in the comments and I will gladly make another video in the future. Otherwise, a huge thank you to you for watching. Consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you have not already subscribed. And obviously, as I said, like the video as well. It really helps us. Uh, and a huge thank you to all of our patrons, which you can see down here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.